Hi everyone, this time we have a nice trigonometric equation which says 81 raised to sine square x plus 81 raised to cos square x equals to 30. So we have to solve for the values of x. How can we do that? Now the first thing what we're going to do is 81 as you know if we break it down into the base of 3 we can write it as 3 to the power of 4. This can be 3 to the power of 4 whole to the power of sine square x plus we have the same thing 3 to the power of 4 whole to the power of cos square x is equal to 30. Now let's simplify um, when you have power to power, you multiply the power. So, 3 to the power of 4 sine square x plus 3 to the power of 4 cos square x is equal to 30. Do you know this identity? Sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. What is cos square x from here? Cos square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x. So this is what we are going to substitute in place of cos square x. Let's write it down. So we have 3 to the power of 4 sine square x plus 3 to the power of 4 times 1 minus sine square x is equal to 30. We will get 3 to the power of 4 sine square x plus 3 to the power of 4 minus 4 sine square x is equal to 30. Okay, we're going to apply this law. a to the power of n minus m is equal to a to the power of n over a to the power of m. This is the law we're going to apply. So here we have 3 to the power of 4 sine square x plus 3 to the power of 4 over 3 to the power of 4 sine square x is equal to 30. Let u is equal to 3 to the power of 4 sine square x. So we're going to substitute this whole term as u. So we what do we get? u plus 3 to the power of 4 over u is equal to 30. Let's multiply both sides by u. So we get u square plus 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 30u. Bring 30u this side. We will have u square minus 30u plus is equal to 0. Your product should be 81 and sum should be negative 30. So what are the factors for that? We can have negative 27 and negative 3, which gives us negative 30. So we can use negative 27u and negative 3u, which will give us negative 30u. So let's substitute in this. So we have u square minus 27u minus 3u plus 81 is equal to 0. Then we have Okay, we're going to take out u common. u, we're left with u minus 27 minus 3 times u minus 27 is equal to 0. Then we have u minus 3, u minus 3 and u minus 27 as the two faces. One is u minus 27 is equal to 0 and another one u minus 3 is equal to 0. 
the first case and the second case so from here we have u is equal to 27 and here we have u is equal to 3 but u is equal to 3 to the power of 4 sine square x as we already know so we know substitute this back so 3 to the power of 4 sine square x is equal to 27 here and here 3 to the power of 4 sine square x is equal to 3 so this can be written as 3 to the power of 4 sine square x is equal to 3 cube now you have same basis that's equal between them you can equate the powers 4 sine square x is equal to 3 and then you can divide both sides by 4 to cancel out this 4 so we have sine square x is equal to 3 fourths we have same basis that's equal to so we equate the powers so we have 4 sine square x is equal to 1 and then divide both sides by 4 so this gets cancelled so we have sine square x is equal to 1 fourth now we'll take square root on both sides so this and this gets eliminated we are left with sine x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 fourths and here we take square root so this and this gets cancelled so we are left with sine x is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 4 here sine x is equal to plus or minus plus or minus square root of 3 over 2 and here sine x is equal to plus or minus 1 over 2 now we need to find the values of x let's draw the coordinate plane at the units of 1 so you know draw 1 1 1 and 1 and we're going to construct a circle so this coordinate is 1 comma 0 and this is negative 1 comma 0 this is 0 comma minus 1 and this is 0 comma 1 and here also we have drawn the same thing that is 1 comma 0 0 comma minus 1 and minus 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 uh, what is sine x equals to that is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and this is the opposite hypotenuse is 1 so here we're going to draw a line this is the opposite that is root 3 over 2 and this is hypotenuse which is 1 so this is 60 degrees and in radians it is pi over 3 and another angle which is 180 minus 60 that will give us 120 so we'll draw another line 180 minus 60 that is 120 degrees and in radians it will be 2 pi over 3 now these two are above x-axis so we'll get two values of x sine x is equal to plus root 3 over 2 for plus root 3 over 2 and then we'll have some values for sine x is equal to minus root 3 over 2 we have got from here so first value is x is equal to pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant and another value is x is equal to 2 pi over 3 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant 
So we have 180 plus 60 that's equal to 240 degrees. 240 degrees. And in radians it is 4 pi over 3. And the next angle is 360 minus 60 which is equal to 300 degrees. So, and in radians, that is equal to 5 pi over 3. So, we have two values. x is equal to, you have 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant. And another is, x is equal to 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi constant. Sin x equals to, plus or minus 1 over 2. We have drawn a unit circle. Here, we are going to draw a line. So, we have and this is opposite. Now, again, the same thing. Sin x is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite is half and hypotenuse is 1. So, let's plot it here. This is half. This is half and this is hypotenuse 1. This angle is 30 degrees. 180 minus 30. That will give us 150 degrees. This one in radians is pi over 6. This one in radians is 5 pi over 6. This is equal to, we have pi over 6. Pi over 6 plus 2 pi constant and x is equal to 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi constant. So we have 180 plus 30 degrees that is 210 degrees and in radians it is 7 pi over 6. Now the next angle is so the next angle is 360 minus 30 that will be 330 degrees and in radians it is 11 pi over 6. So x is equal to 7 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi constant and x is equal to 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi constant. So as you can see we have got all the values of x here for sin x equals to plus root 3 by 2, sin x equals to negative root 3 by 2, sin x is equal to plus 1 over 2, sin x equals to negative 1 over 2. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.